My first memories of Preston North End would be, obviously my dad played, a um, bit before my time I was still a Babster. And then when my mum remarried, my stepfather, Tom Gore, was a, a director at the football club. So my first season ticket would have been 1970-71, third division team, Alan Ball Senior, Arthur Cox, etc. Arthur Cox was, was the coach. My season ticket was for the Old West Stand, which used to rain in, which was good. Our times have changed. But I saw the majority of home games that season, front two, um, Jerry Ingram and Bobby Ham. Bobby Ham was from Bradford and Bobby Ham was my absolutely, absolute hero because he scored a lot of goals, but he was also like a little bit nasty. I quite like that about him. But that was a season where uh, the very last game we were promoted already, that ourselves on Fulham, and we went to Craven Cottage, went to Fulham, and I remember my step stepfather saying, I didn't go to the game, I remember my stepfather saying to me that all the champagne in the boardroom was obviously for Fulham to win at home and be crowned as champions, and we upset the apple cart. Ricky Heppelet, our Anglo-Indian, as you used to be able to call them in, in those days, he scored the only goal of the game. And um, that was probably my first, um, quite vivid, but also one of my best memories of the football club. I've got lots of memories of Deepdale, um, all varied. As I say, when I started, I was, a, I was, because I was 17, I was a professional, I wasn't a, an apprentice. But I remember one summer on the old, which is now the Invincible stand, we actually had to, we went up on the roof, nailing the felt back in. Could you imagine nowadays doing that kind of stuff? I think one of the best times though was certainly the Allen Ball area because it was it was just good fun. Uh, we had a good side. I also remember things like bunking off school in the seventies when it was it used to be everybody had a three day week. There was power cuts everywhere, and we played Nottingham Forest here in an afternoon match when everyone else was supposed to be at work. But you had to play in the day because you couldn't have the floodlights on at night. So I've absolutely seen it all. I missed. I'd gone and I was away playing, so I'd missed like the plastic pitch, which apparently was horrendous. I don't even think I set foot on it, to be, to be quite honest with you. But then, you know, latter days, of course, uh, Div 1 playoff, etc. that season, um, just the running and the Wembley, the whole kind of thing. But I've probably been in every single place in the, in the ground, both old and new. Met so many different people, so, so many fantastic Memories, as I said before, both both good and bad. And that's really the experience, isn't it? Experience is your bad memories. It's not necessarily your good memories. Seeing loads and loads of managers, some good, some bad, some who should never have even got the job in the first place. Probably the same with players. Um, but it's just been, I really seriously could write a book. Preston North End has been my life, to be quite honest with you. I grew up playing football from the age of, I don't know, five, six, whatever. And I remember when we moved to Penwortham that the official photographer of Preston North End was a guy called Peter Reid, not the one who went and played for Everton in England, etc. But And he used to live just around the corner and his, his um, studio was about 200 yards away from where I lived. And he used to give me on a Monday all the pictures that he hadn't used for the newspaper from Saturday's home, home games. I'd love to know where they went. I'm pretty sure somebody must have nabbed them from me. But it was it's just my team. It's my hometown. City now, obviously. I was born in Sharon Green Hospital, that was, which was probably five or six hundred yards away. Always wanted to play for them. Local boy, etc. Dad played, as I said. Um, and you know, my stepfather was on the board. And I actually when when I got into the team at what, 17, 18, and I'd passed my driving test. That's important, the driving test bit, because play at home, come in the players' lounge, and then I have to used to go up to the boardroom and wait to pick my mother and my stepfather up. And to be quite honest with you, sometimes they'd come out and they were a little bit worse than they were, shall we say. So I'd played for the club and I had to drive my mum and dad home from the club about three hours after we'd actually finished the game. It's been my life, always has been. And I get a lot of people wherever I go saying, oh, you must be a massive Liverpool fan. I go, yes, I'm a mis uh, uh, um, not a massive Liverpool fan. I am a Liverpool fan, but I'm a massive Preston North End fan.